Okay, welcome everyone. Sorry for that hiccup. Um, I'm Prince Peter. And then for those of you who are part, uh, employees here, uh, please, can you just indicate quickly? If you're an employee, type two quickly. It's very important if you're an employee because there are a lot of employees who are struggling, who are struggling with this business. So if you're an employee, type two. If you're doing this business part-time, type two. I want to say as many as possible who are doing this business because my message is for everyone, but it will make sense a lot to you people. You see? Most of what I've uh, achieved in this business came from my being part-time, even though I've gone full-time, but most of everything I have was when I was part-time. Now, as part-time, I had worked in the civil service for 15 years when I saw this business. So there's one thing most employees can relate to, which is the fact that towards the end of the month, Apart from the few period you get your allowances, because these allowances come once in a year, you are often, you know, uh, broke. You're often broke. And being broke is never easy because it does a lot to your self-esteem, you know. So towards the end of the month, I can remember, you know, when the money is really low or not there, you know, lying down on the bed and trying to count the days so that it's end of the month and I can survive to the next other time. You know, and I didn't like showing up. I mean, if your friends came, oh, let's go, out, let's go. Out. It didn't make sense for me to just be a freeloader. So I would stay on my own. And, you know, it's almost like you are sick, you know, especially for men. If you're a man and you don't have money, you know, there's this sick feeling. It's like, I don't know for women, but for men, it's this sick feeling. And a 10 k alert can change everything, can bring you alive, can make you look like, oh my God, this malaria is gone. So, you know, but imagine I had to, I endure those things. This, so it means life was very inconsistent and I was getting older. And it's not like I didn't want better. I wanted better, but I just didn't know how to get it. I'll read, you know, there's a lot of aspire to perspire books out there, you know, but how to now actualize or what to really do. I didn't, I didn't really know what to do. So when my dear mentor, Ambassador Ronke Kosemani invited me for a meeting like this, you would think it's a blessing, but I've had I've been badly burnt before I saw this opportunity. I'd been in for uh, Tianxi, GNLD, and then I'd done forever. By the time I got to forever, I was done. I was done with network marketing. I mean, there's no story. Nothing you could have told me. Nothing. I mean, I, I mean, I'm a, I'm a lawyer. I've been a lawyer for 20 years, so I would have argued the hell out of you. But the system is so fantastic here, and I want to urge you to use this system. And what was system? You get invited. You know, and I got there, and when once the system, once the plan was unveiled, and I saw that it was similar to what I had done in the past. Trust me, I was ready to go. So, Ambassador, I'm just telling you now. I would have just stood up, <laughs> but you know, you are my friend, and you are talking. So I felt I can't just stand up, oh, and my friend is talking. Let me give her benefit of that, but she will look for me. She, she will find me. She this business. I'm done. So, and that helped me. Then, secondly, something also happened to me. You know, I realized I was broke. If I left, I was still going to land that bed. You know, how long would I continue land on that bed? So I mean, as well just sit here. I mean, this is a different place to while away time. And that helped me because I got to know more by not assuming. I got to understand that the reason I failed was because I didn't have access to mentorship. I began to see how the system could help me make up for all the, you know, the mistakes I had made and errors. And that was very important for me because you know, from there I saw the, what the matching bonus could do, leverage income. I got to understand that if you are making money and it's not leverage, like your salary, you are wasting your time. Even some business people, you're doing a business that has no leverage, you're wasting your time. And that night, that I couldn't sleep. I didn't have 38, then it was 38,000. I didn't have 38,000 to start. So for those of you who say, look, now a lot of things were happening at the same time. I built a career in 15 years. I was already a senior civil servant. I've been legal advisors to numerous government agencies. So it wasn't that I had all the time in the world. Apart from those times I broke when I leave uh, the office. In fact, I love working. I could work forever. Saturday, Sunday, I was always available because, I mean, what was I doing with my time? So my time was actually completely occupied. So, but time objection didn't worry me. Sitting down there, time wasn't the problem because I realized that with all the time I was giving with, and time was going, I wasn't getting richer. I wasn't getting more productive. 
So I as quickly solved that problem. I knew I was going to sacrifice things easily. TV, TV had to go. TV went straight. The way TV went today itself, I can't. It's hard for me to watch TV. I go into a hotel room. The TV is off until I leave. So TV wasn't my challenge at all. Then, then I got to I got to the next step. Um, the next would have been the objection was the money. But I realized that the rich borrow money. They borrow. They borrow to do everything. And then when it, there's a problem, Amcom will take over. And this money is our money. They don't lose anything. They don't have any problem. And here I was. I'll borrow for house rent. I'll borrow when it's school fees time. I'll borrow for one thing or the other. So I knew straight what to do, you know? So, you know, sometimes how you think and your, your exposure can help you. And, and I, I believe that helped me because I like reading a lot. So that night, I was able to raise 200,000. I was not looking at one account. Seven account was the highest. I was not looking at three. I was looking at seven was the highest. I went straight because I didn't knew that this was going to help me quickly get to where I wanted to, which was to be able to make extra 100 k Because at that time, my salary was not up to 100,000. And that's what I did. I was able to raise it and I started this journey. Now, I don't know if you can see my slide, but if you can, if you can see my slide, you, want, you will see that I have the alert in red, you know? And what will happen is that COVID came, I made a decision. Note that I took that decision on time. I keep imagining what would have happened if I had taken four months, six months to make that decision, um, uh, uh, 10 months to make that decision, one year to make that decision, it would have crept into the time because in 2020, uh, 2020 July, I didn't know COVID was going to happen. Nobody knew COVID was going to happen. The government was paying me a miserable 143K and I was already an assistant director at that time. Now, this was the rank that, you know, a lot of people just wanted to enter because once you got there, things became soft, you know, which also helped me because if I didn't, make the, my payment that day, I would have just kept, oh, when I get to government, because then everything was small. There was no testimony. People are seeing testimony. People are seeing results. Lot, I mean, if, if we are to call for testimonies, leaders will give testimonies from now to the end of the year. You won't have a repeat because there's so many testimonies. In my time, there was nothing like that. Even the person I was looking at, the ambassador herself, I was driving a better car than she was driving. So what was the big deal? Yes, now. So decision making is very important because I made it and I couldn't go back. I borrowed, I borrowed. So <laughs> there was no, uh, even, even if I didn't want to do the business, that money had to pay back. And that led me to this July 2020. The government was paying me 143. The government itself was broke. There were states that were not paying any salaries, but I got that. So I was grateful. Thank you. But because of this business, in a 30 day period, I made over a million. And I did most of this from the house with my devices, still part time. Because at fun time, nobody has time. That's the honest truth. You create time because you understand that that thing you are creating time for is priority. That's why you create time now. You know, you create time for your family because you understand it's priority. If not, don't go home now. Don't attend to them. Just keep doing what you do. So that's a myth about time. You have to deal with it to an employee. You know, you can't keep giving. You already know the end of where you're going to. It's like putting your ladder against the wrong part of the world. That's how I looked at it. By the time I get to the end of the ladder, I become a director. What's my cash flow going to be like? Yes, I may have one or two assets, but there's always issues with cash flow when you need more money. So you get to the end and there's no window to enter the building. That's what a lot of you are doing. But with this business, I could get to the end of the ladder and just enter the window and access the house. So it paid me now. And then for the month after, let me, uh, this slide, I don't know how to move it now. Yeah, my computer, good, okay. You can see me enjoying Mentorship. That's me enjoying mentorship with the ambassador. I don't know if you can see the next slide. Can you see the next slide? Can you yes. see the next? Yes. Slide? Oh, yes. Okay, because I can't see it on my phone. Okay, and then that's uh, the first trip, and then that's my award. Got awarded. I don't know if you can see because um, you can. Can you see the awards yes, like the see. awards? Yes, I can see the awards. Okay, good. Yes, and uh, let me say something interesting about this. The government had never given me an award. See, today, 19 years in the service, I've never received an award. Never. So I don't know what awards look like until I came here. And these are not my only awards, right? So I received this award, and then I was able to travel. You know, imagine not being able to travel in government. I can remember the only time I ever traveled was for an official assignment, you know. But here, in the first time I would travel, yes, I struggled. I struggled. I had challenges, let me tell you. I had challenges, but I kept learning. You know, there were lead, different leaders, different people willing to help. The ambassador was there, everybody. So it was a community. You know, I will leave from office, come in the evening, in the night, and then I will drive straight to the office. There was no internet. 
just to show up. I'll show up and I'll actually pay for office uh, tables. I used to pay, I'll pay for office, pay for stuff. So I was, you know, putting in the money because I believed in this vision. I just believed it even before I, I got to this place. So by 2019, the business rewarded me, took me to three all expense paid trip. You know, I was in uh, Manila, I visited Dubai and uh, Ethiopia. And this year I've been to two countries. I, I visited uh, uh, Casa de Papa and then uh, Zanzibar, where I took a, where I did this, uh, where I fulfilled one of my bucket lists, which is to uh, call snorkeling in, your, your, in the ocean with these five beautiful fishes, you know? So I was able to do that. And uh, this is one of my favorite um, vacation pictures because be, thanks to this business, uh, they called us at the craft and the other teammate, she was also being celebrated her birthday. And we thought there was a problem with our passport or oh, maybe there was an issue. And I was wondering, what is this now? What is this on our way to Dubai? Only to be surprised by this cake and champagne and all of that. And lastly, I got this car from the business and the ambassador was celebrating with me at my office where I used to work. They would probably have been having Babele for me and checking the papers. This guy is like, he's enjoying this office. So where do we push him to now? This, you know, he's had, you know, but here your leaders celebrate with you. And before this car, I'd driven the other car for 11 years. The car is older than my daughter. I was just driving, you know, so I used to mock her that this car is actually older than, you know, I couldn't change it, you know. So the, 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 the business is awesome. I want you to take it serious. Understand that it can give you a lot. Don't use your job to sabotage yourself, you know. And, and if you are working, understand that it's in your interest to increase your accounts so that it multiplies the little effort you are giving because you don't have all the time, the part-time, the full-time as half. So that's what I'm going to say. So uh, lastly, I want to say I enjoyed a lot of the magic of part-time because a lot of my colleagues used to wonder how come you can afford this, how come you can do this, how come you can, you know? So I enjoyed all of that. But today the honeymoon is over. I'm now fully full-time. <laughs> so now more is expected of me. So the grind is going to be something else. So I expect more testimonies in another five years by God's grace. Uh, thank you, Ambassador, for this opportunity. Thank you everyone for listening.